Whew. I have some crazy idea. I'm not sure if it's dumb or not. I'm gonna drive home and surprise my family. It's a 37 hour, 36 hour drive. But I got the shades for the sun. Don't want to uh, get... <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm thinking it is because I really want to surprise my family. They don't think I'm coming home because I've told them I'm not coming home because of COVID and everything. But I think it's wise that I do go home and spend time with them. I'm going to do that. And I don't want to fly. I want to drive. I want to. I like driving. But yeah, so stay tuned for this crazy travel video back home surprising my family. Let's find They better get a good reaction. Otherwise... It may not have been worth No, I'm joking. It'll be worth it. Anyways, Two, see you on the road. Three. Fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 start with no music so I'm not like annoyed right away um, but yeah passing up for the trip maybe McGriddle from McDonald's before I start the summer training might as well let loose a little bit guys I was so hungry I forgot to film it I ate everything already so gotta hit the road okay so I didn't really film much today I'm exhausted I didn't film any of the like the driving because I was kind of panicking by the way I'm at a hotel right now it is uh 2 a.m I I needed to get some sleep here it's actually kind of a grind but no I didn't film anything because I was like freaking out make sure I knew where I was going I was losing service in the middle of nowhere so I needed to make sure I knew where I was going I didn't want to like risk running out of gas all that stuff like this I wasn't going I went straight through Nevada and it was nothing around so got to make sure i don't miss a gas station otherwise there's nothing for like 60 miles anyways i'm at the hotel i'm exhausted i gotta get some sleep see you in the morning <sighs> all right what is good all you donkeys in the hood it's currently 8 a.m in wyoming at the hotel best western lodge um but yeah simple hotel uh just showered cleaned up a little bit about to hit the road again I'm gonna give you guys a little hotel tour. The uh, bathroom. Holy jeez. Nice mirror. Nice sink. My toothbrush and toothpaste. Another mirror. Iron for the clothes. Just in case you know, dressed all fancy here. I need to iron my clothes. That's the light we got. No overhead light. Weird ceiling. That's the bed. Best Western Outlaw Inn. That's a weird name. Yeah, that's what it's called. I'll give it a uh, three star. Nice. Like we're 14 hours out, so it feels pretty good. Currently going through Nebraska, not much to see. This is actually a learning experience for me because it's, it's been tough being alone. That's the worst thing about it. Um, but I actually enjoyed the ride. Like I went from driving through mountains and Rocky Mountains, whatever, uh, then going through the desert in Nevada desert mountains there then the canyons in utah and then wyoming just hills and when i approach nebraska just fields and cornfields or whatever just flat land mostly i gotta say i am pretty used to it um i had to sleep last night but i don't think i'm gonna need to to get a hotel tonight i don't even i haven't really eaten any any <laughs> today like i just had a sub and then that was it because i'm like you know what i'm not gonna eat well anyway let me just get a move on here i'm not going through cities or whatever i'm on the outskirts obviously something else the music i've gone i think 
more hours not listening to music than listening to music because like the music is great but it just it gets it's too much after a while sunlight i'm getting here it's a beautiful day here in nebraska it's like 90 degrees You want to get Grayson? Grayson. You want to get Grayson? Where's Grayson? Go get Grayson. Where's Grayson? I drove. You drove. That's Get why. Get out of here. <laughs> you nice. drove. Where to where? You drove. I drove back. Oh my God. Zio's home. Move, so, I think you gotta cross the border, okay? Yeah. Sure. First thing that happens when I come home, we eat. <laughs> <laughs> and what else do we want to do? Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Before I let you guys go, I just want to say how thankful I am for all you fans of Sharks, of me, of Youngest of Plugs, and thank you for voting uh, for, for me and the NHL's Quarantine King or King of Quarantine Award, which I'm so thankful to have won, and that's all because of you guys. So, you know, the channel's growing, um, the Instagram's growing, and it motivates me to want to put more and more content out there. I came home to visit my family, so I am not quite, you know, in the, the swing of, of the YouTube video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not quite in the swing of the YouTube video production, but there will be consistent videos coming out starting in July, probably around July 5th, 6th-ish, and going on from there. And even when the year starts next year, I want to try and have videos made um, to the best of my ability to keep it consistent, keep it rolling while staying focused on hockey. So going to do that for you guys because you guys show appreciation for me. I'm going to show my appreciation for you by giving more content. So you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.